Did you paint this? It's beautiful. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna go home. So, are you ready to do this tomorrow? What, to adopt? I'm very scared. The last time I felt this way was right before we lost the baby. I just don't want you to feel like we're just doing this for my sake. It's not just for you. I'm gonna take the love that we have and give it to someone that really needs it. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Hello. Hi, I'm so glad you could make it. I am too. Go ahead and look around. Hello? Hi. Uh, are those your paintings? Yes. Hi, my name's Esther. What's yours? I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. Hey, I wanted to introduce you to someone. Hello, how are you? Hi. Kate, this is Esther. Esther, this is Kate. Did you paint that? Yes, I did. Those are fantastic. It looks wonderful. Where did you learn how to do that? I guess I had a lot of time to practice. I guess. I'm different. No one really likes to talk to me. It's okay to be different. There's nothing wrong with that. Brought her to America, died in a house fire. Oh my god, I finally got out. She's been through a lot, but she is extraordinary. She's very mature for her age and very well-mannered. She is a bit of a princess, actually. She wears those bows on her wrist and on her neck all the time. The only time we had trouble with her is when we try to take it off. How does she get along with other kids? Oh, when she tries to interact, she's great. She seem to open up with us. Yeah. I can get the paperwork together and see you back here in three weeks. Is this your house? Well, it's your house too. Hi, sweetie, look who's here. Hello, Max, my name is Esther. Kate, can she hear? Um, a little, she was born almost completely dead. Danny, what? Hey, Danny, this is Esther. Oh. Hello, Daniel. Hi, why is she just like that? I was asking a question. This is your room, this is your room. You like it? It's perfect. Mommy, daddy. Me and Max are scared of the dark. Can we sleep with you tonight? Yeah, sure, sweetie. I'll call next to daddy. Come on, we gotta go. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, <laughs> wow. Sweetie, this isn't really a school dress. But I like it, don't you think it's pretty? Yes, it's so beautiful, but I just don't think you're gonna be comfortable in it. Where are the jeans that I got you? You're just afraid? That the children's gonna make fun of me, aren't you? I thought you said there was nothing wrong being different. Yes, you're right, you're absolutely right. Daniel, what happened? No clue, don't ask me, she's annoying. Watch where you're going. I'm so sorry, forgive me. Here's your towel, call me if you need anything. Esther? Why did you lock the door? I was after her. There's no locking doors in this house. Well, I can sing for you if, so you can know I'm all right. If you want, I can stand outside and wait for you. Okay. Yeah, that, that's why I'm the other day. Is that a journal? What a freak. She's making it's bad. It's just not even my sister. Is that color? <laughs> Who's Jessica? Max talks about her all the time. She's my daughter. Where is she? Up in heaven. As long as these flowers are alive, I know she's okay. She would have been lucky because you were a great mommy. Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> We were just playing. And Max, did you see what happened? Mom, what's she asking? She wants to press the bread. I wasn't and butter. asking. Can you eat normal? I am eating normal. Yeah, maybe from like Transylvania, wherever you're from. 
I'm from Russia. Transylvania isn't even a country. It's a part of Romania. You're a freak. Hey! What? I don't want any more talk like that from you. But all my friends make fun of me because of it. Well, maybe you need different friends. Well, maybe we should send her back to the retard camp where she came from. Daniel, apologies to your sister. She's not my freaking sister, dude. <laughs> Hello? Well, how are you? Uh, we're great. We're doing good. How is she? She's right here. Hold on a second. Hey, it's Sister Abigail. Do you want to say hello? Uh, come on, just a quick hello. No! I got in. Well, hello there, Esther. What are you doing here? May I come in? I think I made a mistake. I think there may be something wrong with Esther. What do you mean? You said there was nothing wrong with her. I didn't, but trouble does have a way of finding her. What kind of trouble? Two girls get in a fight, and there she is. Someone gets caught stealing, and there she is. After I found out what happened to the playground, I called her old school, and while she was there, there was a boy who fell with a pair of scissors in his hand and stabbed himself through the jaw, and Esther was there again. I don't understand. He accidentally cut himself? And the house fire, they never found the person who did it. This is me, lady here, and she came to come take me away. Will you help me? I have had some behavior problems. Yeah, but nothing like that, yeah. Yes, we have. Oh, really, hon? Think about it. I think we need to know what we're dealing with. Well, I'll tell you what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a nine-year-old who's from an orphanage. Do you want to play? Go stall her, and I'll run up from behind. Because if they find out that you did, you're going to jail too. You're not gonna tell me, are you? Tell me what you saw. I, I just saw you and Max hiding the knife. What else? I, nothing, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I swear, I didn't see nothing. Did you tell anyone? No, I didn't tell nobody. If I find out you're lying, I will cut your throat open. Who's this? Coleman? Yes. Uh, this is uh, Brother Judith from St. Mary's. I'm sorry to bother you, but but I really need to know if Sister Abigail went to your house. Yes, why? She hasn't returned since yesterday, and I'm starting to get really worried. I don't know about Esther, John. I have a bad feeling it was her that killed Sister Abigail. Are you crazy? No, I just want to know more about her and who she is. All right, fine. Call the orphanage. Hi, I was wondering if you heard of anyone in the city of Concord in Russia? Sister Abigail had mentioned... Oh, you did. I don't understand how you have no record of her being there. Yes, please. Call me as soon as anything happens. Thank you. Esther! Esther! You gotta go! Ah! Ah! Uh. I like it when it's just the two of us. You know how long I waited for a daddy just like you. Mommy too, right? I don't think mommy likes me very much. It's okay. Mommy loves you very much. It's alright. It must be hard to love an adopted child as much as your own. We love you. Why don't you do something nice for mommy? Pause it. Mommy, I have something a surprise for you. You do? Esther, what did you do? I was just what did you do? <laughs> Daddy! She did this on purpose. It's my fault. I told her to do something nice for you. Hello, is this is Saturn introduced? Yes. I need to talk to somebody about an orphan ch children. She was adopted by an orphan family. It's a girl. She's not come from here. Well, I haven't even told you her name yet. You don't understand. This is not an orphanage. This is a mental hospital. You're looking for this? 
poor sister Abigail. You know, I couldn't have done it without Max's help. Whatever Max did, you made her do. You know, what did I tell you? You're gonna be taught a lesson. What happened, Daniel? We stopped the abdominal bleeding, but he has a serious neck injury. He is stabilized for now. Consider yourself lucky. Can we see him? In a little while, he's in the ICU. Do you remember anything? It's possible. There's no way of knowing for sure what he will remember until he wakes up. Kate, Kate, this is Sister Anaya. Leave the house. Esther's not what you think she is. She's 32 years old and not nine. Call the police. She has a rare hormone disorder. It's called hypogonadism. It's the cause of a purpose of dwarfism. She only looks like a child. She escaped from the mental hospital. Call me when you can.